An interesting topic I want to talk about today is the suffix array. This is an incredibly powerful data structure to have in your toolbox when you're doing some string processing. Suffix arrays are a relatively new data structure, appearing around the early 90s due to the heavy memory consumption needs of suffix trees. Let's start with the basics and talk about just what a suffix is. For our purposes, a suffix is a non-empty substring at the end of a string. For example, if we ask ourselves what all the possible suffixes of the string horse are, we are able to come up with five unique suffixes. And they are E, S, E, R, S, E, and so on. Now we can answer the question, what is a suffix array? The answer is a suffix array is the array containing all the sorted suffixes of a string. Let's see an example of this. Suppose you want to find the suffix array for the word camel. On the left, I constructed a table with all the suffixes of camel and the indices of where that particular suffix started in the string camel. Then on the right hand side, I sorted all the suffixes in lexicographic order in a table. The actual suffix array is the array of sorted indices highlighted in orange. We do not need to actually store the suffixes themselves if we know where the suffix begins in the original string. This is an ingenious idea and it provides us with a compressed representation of the sorted suffixes without actually needing to physically store the suffixes themselves. All we need is the original string and the array of associated indices. In summary, a suffix array is an array of indices which store the sorted suffixes of a string. Furthermore, for a bit of history on the suffix array, it is a data structure originally designed to be a space efficient alternative to a suffix tree, which in turn is itself meant to be a compressed version of another data structure called a try. As a side note, even though the suffix array is a very different from the suffix tree, suffix arrays can do just about virtually anything the suffix tree can with some additional auxiliary information such as a longest common prefix array, which will be the topic of our next video. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video where I will introduce the longest common prefix array. Thank you.